Have you ever wondered how power influences the outcomes in project management? Project manager without power is like a human being without food, a machine without a source of energy. Power is not just about authority, it's a tool that can shape the trajectory of a project, is very essential for a project manager. It can steer decision-making, mold team dynamics, and ultimately determine the success or failure of a project. Power in project management isn't about domination, it's about influence and direction. Top project managers are proactive and intentional when it comes to power. These project managers will work to acquire the power and authority they need within the boundaries of organizational policies, protocols, and procedures rather than wait for it to be granted. Power and its use can be complex given its nature and various factors at play in a project. Let us delve into few common forms of power, which can be used as a combination or one at a time depending on the situation. Positional. This kind of power comes from the formal authority given to a project manager. With this power, a project manager can set rules, make decisions, and direct the team towards the project goals. Informational. In this information age, information is powerful. If the project manager is in charge of the process of gathering and distributing information, as well being in ownership of it. This kind of power can be used appropriately in the project situations. Next, we have referent power. This is the ability to influence others through personal traits and charisma. A project manager with strong referent power is admired and respected by the team. They can inspire and motivate the team and other stakeholders. Sometimes, power can be situational, the one that is gained due to unique situation, for example, a crisis. Personal or charismatic power is the power that is gained through the charisma or the personal characteristics of project manager. Relational power is attained through maintaining relations, networking, and socializing. The best forms of the power is being an expert, which stems from a project manager's specialist knowledge or skills. When team members recognize the project manager's expertise, they are more likely to respect their decisions and directives. Reward-oriented and punitive or coercive power is based on the ability of the project manager to reward or invoke disciplinary or negative consequences. It relates to the metaphor of the carrot and stick. Pressure-based power refers to limiting the freedom of choice or movement for the purpose of gaining compliance to desired action. Guilt-based, for example, imposition of obligation or sense of duty can be used in situations when other methods or power do not work. There are many more such powers which can be at the discretion and disposal of the project manager. In conclusion, power in project management is not just about authority, but about influence, persuasion, and leadership. Please stay tuned for other topics. Thank you for watching the video. Please share your feedback in the comments section. If you liked the video and would like to see more on the concepts of project management, request you to please like and subscribe. We'll be back with much more interesting and improvised content soon.